Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom series. Today, we have traveled to the track that's too tough to tame, the Lady in Black, the Darlington Raceway for the Darlington 74. This is going to be race number six in the More Freedom series, season four. And with five races down, let's go through your top 10 in points. Your points leader will be the 88 of NM, and then second will be the 49 of Jetman. Third will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Fourth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Fifth will be last week's winner, the eight of Moon Bunny. Sixth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Seventh will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Eighth will be the 300 of Resemble. Ninth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 799 of Mike Check. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. NBR leads the way in the team standings with Douche Motorport Sports second. Aces to Zed Motorsports third. Fourth will be Amish Buggy Racing. And rounding out the top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings are Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all the points standings and whatnot through the first five races. Crowd is starting to file in. They're getting these cars dialed in. So I think it's about time. So let's go racing. Let's go through your starting top 10 today for this Darlington 74. Starting on the pole will be the 300 of Resemble, and on his outside, the 660 of Garrett Miller. Starting third will be the 95 of Zed Brunna, and on his outside, the 49 of Jetman. Starting fifth will be the 34 of Super Snake, and on his outside, the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Starting seventh will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack, and on his outside, the 07 of Douche Baggins. Starting ninth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. So DB starting eighth today after winning the IROC Series race here on Monday. We'll see if he can do a back-to-back -back repeats here in the More Freedom Series. Your points leader starting way back in 18th today, and last week's winner, Moon Bunny, starting in, in eighth. Uh, Resemble will be leading us down to the green flag today with the 95 of Zed Bruno right behind him and on his outside will be that 660 of Garrett Miller again driving for Amish Buggy Racing this year in the Dodge instead of his normal, his usual Chevy from the last two seasons. Resemble bringing us off a of three and four right now coming down to take this green flag. That beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car has ducked itself in, slowly creeping down. Crowd is going crazy. Waiting on that starter. The green flag is out, and we are underway here at Darlington. Trying to get a good lead. Lap number one is that 300 of Resemble. Again, the bottom line should be the line here at Darlington, but tricky, tricky, tr not the tricky triangle, that's Pocono. Tricky turns here at Darlington as Resemble Leader, probably going to be the leader here on lap number one. We're heading for 74 laps of green flag. Hopefully, green flag action here today as we see the 95 of Zed Brunna already underneath that 660 of Garrett Miller. He's going to be passed by his teammate, the 34 of Super Snake. Looks like that 29 of Wishbone Attack and maybe the 49 of Jetman going to look for that pass as well. So Garrett loses two positions on that lap. Let's go back up here to the front and bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. Again, your leader right now is that 300 of Resemble, but the 95 of Zed Brunnen knocking on that back door. And for Aces to Zed Motorsports, co-owner for Aces to Zed, that 95 of Zed Brunnen, great again. I can't express how much the Pink Panther livery how good it looks on that 95 here this season. Pilot, Freightliner, Flying J, all coming on for sponsorship there on the 95. We see two teammates right here, the 34 of Super Snake and the 660 of Garrett Miller battling on the track for the third position as well as another couple teammates, the 49 and the 29. So Wishbone Attack and his teammate, the 49 of Jetman battling right now for the fifth position. A uh, fourth position, sorry, sorry. No, wait, fifth, fifth, fifth. Yes, fifth position. Check back here through the pack as that three of Geek Girl Games may have been trying to make a pass there. We see both of the KFB racing cars, the 40 of... 
for, the 40 of Veteran Chaos. I always said the 40 of Kung Fu Beer. 40 of Veteran Chaos and that 71 of Kung Fu Beer. KFB working right now in the 13th position as we see the 07 of Douche Baggins. It looks like he was caught on the outside, pushed to the back, but he is now working his way up towards the front again as we see that 13 of King of the Aces stuck on the outside right there. Check back up here towards the front. We do see that three of Geek Girl Games trying to make a push towards the front as she's able to get around that 49 of Jetman. Looking to try to get a little bit of a draft there on the 29 of Wishbone Attack. I think she had to let off the gas, come off a three and four, had a great run on that 29 of Wishbone Attack. Unable to keep that up would have probably wrecked them both. So good, good on her for hitting on the hitting the brakes right there, letting off the gas. As we see, it is nose to tail for the top four. Probably going to be the top five nose to tail in just a moment when that 90, uh, the 29 of Wishbone Attack gets into the mix. As we do see the 95 of Zed Brunnen now making a move on to 300 of Resemble for the lead here on a lap number seven. So Resemble led all the way so far. He is trying to work it on the outside. He does have a great run off of turn number four down the front stretch. I think he's gonna keep the lead here. So Zed unable to get his car underneath. I think that helped from that 34 to Super Snake as Super Snake kind of pushed the 300 of Resemble back out to the front of the lead, out to the front as it seems like the 34 to Super Snake had to get on the on off the gas lost position that's going to actually allow the three of geek girl games to get down to the inside of the 29 a wishbone attack into one and two so wishbone losing a couple positions right there to the three and the 49 about to fall into the clutches of the 72 of duchess and maybe that double zero of mudbone currently this is the battle will be the battle for the seventh position i believe as the double zero of Mudbone has worked up from 15th up to ninth position, and the 40 of Veteran Chaos has worked from the 19th to the 10th position right now. Get back up here to the front, we still see that 95 of Zed Brunna right there on the back bumper of the 300 of Resemble. So again, that outside line, very precarious here at Darlington. Uh, you don't want to get up too high. You will, you will end up with a Darlington stripe here. Get a little bit of scuff on the right-hand side of your car. Resemble sliding up just a little bit through one and two. Not sure if Zed's going to take advantage. Not sure if that was a plan. Maybe he's just moving up his line a little bit. But the 95 of Zed Brunna is right there on the back bumper of that 300 of Resemble. So battle for the fourth position right now as that three of Geek Girl Games looking to repeat here in the More Freedom Series as the champion. Thought she was going to make a run around that 34 of Super Snake, but not quite yet. We're going to jump back here through the back of the pack as we see the 29 now falling back right now, losing positions to the 40, the double zero, the 420, and probably the 71. Keep jumping back through the pack, see what's going on. As we see the 329 of Heck of a Duber down, almost down to the inside of that 13 at King of the Aces. Duber started in the 24th position, currently runs in the 22nd position. The 13 at King of the Aces started 21st, so falling back just a couple positions there for the 13 at King of the Aces. With that 666 of Pistol Pete started dead last year today, he's now worked himself into the 22nd position right now as he tries to work underneath that 13 at King of the Aces. Has his teammate a couple cars behind with a couple of NBR cars, the 51 and the points leader, the 88. There's last week's winner, the 8 of Moon Bunny. Again, she started on the outside there, so it's a tough row to hoe from the outside starting position as she is right there to the back bumper maybe gave that 88 of nm a little bit of tap to push him high a little bit through three and four trying to get that position away from him looks like he may try it on the outside of the triple seven of sea bass that's just definitely not going to go well for him that's going to cause him to fall back here comes that 96 of nico who 
was running last place there for a couple laps. But currently in last will be the 544 Frederick Winklevom. As we check back up here on the front of the field, the 300 of Resemble, still your leader here on lap number 15, led the whole way so far. Current fastest lap will be by the three of Geek Girl Games. That's going to be at 27.667 seconds or 177.742 miles an hour. We've almost, we've already fallen off 13 miles an hour from the starting speed. So this track here today at Darlington, it, it, it is hot. It is 80 plus degrees right now. So the on track temperature is probably 120 ish, I bet. And so those tires are just falling off really quickly here today and so i don't know it's going to be it's going to definitely play as it did in the irox series race tire wear t and everything is definitely going to play a part in how these drivers finish out this race it's going to cause you got you got to get into the pits you got to get out of the pits and everything else make great pit stops basically as we see the three of geek girl games working down to the inside of that 95 the 95 just lets her go here she comes up on that 300 of Resemble, powering that three for G3 Motorsports, the Reese peanut butter car, down to the inside of the 300 of Resemble. We're gonna see, we're 18 laps in right now. She is definitely pulling out to the lead here. So G3, who started 11th on the day, has now worked herself up to the lead. She's going to get those five bonus points. But Resemble says, nay, you shall not get away from me as he takes his Toyota for the Drop Bear Racing Team and puts it back out to the front of the field. That's going to let all the 34 a Super Snake to get around that three of Geek Girl Games as she pushed up to the outside. Here comes a 660 as we got a little bit of bumping and grinding going into the pits right now. 34 a Super Snake is in. The three of Geek Girl Games is in. The 660, the 420 all in right now and a host of other vehicles. So 19 laps down here at Darlington and we have pit stops underway. So the first car to pit here today will be that 34 a super snake he's the first one in line so technically the first to pit works his way down towards his pit stop got that little bit of hump right there in the middle of the track and he is into his pits we're going to see what they do i'm assuming four tires and fuel here so right side tires going on the 34 looks like they got the left sides on the wall ready to go on to that magnum research dodge for amish buggy racing his teammate, the 660 of Garrett Miller, right there in front of him. He is down on the way. He's going to beat out that three of Geek Girl Games. 660 right behind him. And a host of other cars. Looks like the 23 of Fuller Than You will have taken over the lead here as himself and the 203 of Signs are the last two cars to pit. So that is good for Fuller. So goes 21 laps as we see the 34 of Super Snake getting ready to go around all these drivers. So we'll try to take a mental note of that, of the 23 and the 203. Both went 21 laps here today. And so that may be very beneficial towards the end of this race as they went like three two or three laps more than the 34 of Super Snake. So if we do this cal quick calculation, 20 laps, let's say 20 laps, so you at least three pit stops. And if you've got a couple extra laps here, that can make a difference at the very end of this race. So as we see at three of Geek Girl Games, right back to the back bumper of that 34 of Super Snake. Looks like the 96 of Nico may be running last position right now. We're waiting for all the timing and scoring to update before we make that judgment. But we see the three of Geek Girl Games getting around the 34 of Super Snake. So everything hasn't quite updated yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure G3 is going to be your leader here today at Darlington at once. Every, okay, so we've sort of updated. 
but we're going to call G3 the leader right now. Second place is going to be the 34 of Super Snake. Third is going to be the 660. Fourth will be the 420. Fifth will be the 95 of Zebrana. Sixth will be the 72 of Duchess. Seventh will be the 20 of Adam B. 5000. Eighth will be the 49 of Jetman. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding out your top 10 right now will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. So we see the 25 and the 51 sneaking up in there to the top 15 right now as the 51 already won one race here today this season as well as that double zero mudbone both previous winners the 300 of resemble a huge loser on those pit stops as he falls back to 14th position here on the track we're going to see if he can make all that up as we jump back up to the front and see what is going on with your leaders as the 34 of Super Snake is still within sort of striking distance right now of that three of Geek Girl Games, who still holds that fastest lap of the day at 177, 177 miles an hour. Checking on the back of that field, the uh, 96 of Nico is a couple, couple seconds behind that 10 of Scooter, so it's been a rough season so far for the 96 of Nico, who has had some pretty ugly finishes so far this season and is trying to his best to get back into his winning ways as he currently runs 25th in points your points leader the 88 of nm currently runs 22nd so this could be a great points day for that three of geek girl games as she currently leads this race in front of also second place in points, the 49 of Jetman, who currently runs eighth. So G3 has an amazing car here today for this Darlington 74. And her pit stop was also pretty darn amazing. So we're going to see if that continues through the rest of this race. Her teammates, the 356 of Ice Cream some days, currently runs 25th on the field. After start, where did Ice Cream start at 31st? So she's made up about six positions here today. Current highest, I think the highest uh, runner right now might be that 51 of AJM who is currently passing the 29 of Wishbone Attack and that will be for the 10th position, I believe. And that will take him from 28th to 10th. As he's working right there, three dodges in a row, the 51, the 25, and the double zero of Mudbone. Checking back, and we do see the 23 of Fuller, the new right there to the back bumper, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Fuller also started way on the back in 30th position here today. KFB is trying to get a fender underneath that 300 of Resemble. He might be able to do it off of turn two. Looks like he will be able to. We're gonna see the 23 of Fuller, the new, he kind of slides up, he's kind of staying at the bottom. Down into turn one and two goes the 300 of Resemble and that 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Battle on the track again for the 14th position. After losing basically 13 positions lost in the pits for that 300 of Resemble. He doesn't have a bad car, just a bad pit stop as he's able to keep it away from that, keep that position away from the 71 of Kung Fu Beer right now. Junk back up to the front as we do see the leaders are now becoming, a, instead of a pack of two, they're a, now a pack of five as the 660 of Garrett Miller has caught up to the back bumper as teammate, that 34 is Super Snake. With two aces to Zed cars lurking, look, lurking, lurking right behind him with a 420 and a 95. So we're looking at around a lap 40 so about eight more eight to nine more laps before we start seeing pit stops again here as we are closing in on halfway we got about 42 laps to go so in about yeah, a handful of laps we're gonna see who's leading that halfway would get those very very important five bonus points uh, as of right now, Resemble has led 18 laps here today and does hold the most laps led. So if somebody can beat G3 out for that, because she is just pretty dominant right now on the track, leading this 
leading this race right now through the middle third. So we see pit stops at lap, round lap 40 to 45. That would probably put us at about laps 60 to 70 would be the last pit stop. So yeah, I would say 65 to 70 could be our last pit stop for the day. And those cars that are going a little bit extra, you know, the 23, the 203, if they can go a little bit more extra this time, that might be able to put them just enough fuel to make it to the very end. So it's going to be very, very close after this upcoming pit stop to see who can make it to the, if anybody can make it to the end and who is going to stop and when they will stop. So we know that G3 stopped early with the 34 of Super Snake. Um, we saw that la last week, I believe, we saw the 34 of Super Snake come in early. So the gas mileage on that 34 while he has been up here at the front a few times this season, he has just got terrible gas mileage, currently running 26 in points. Has had a great car, bad gas mileage for that 34 Super Snake. As we do see his lap times falling off just a little bit right now. Last lap at 160, or a 30.646 seconds, so about three seconds off the normal pace. But most of the drivers are about three seconds off their normal pace right now. So Super Snake falling back just a hair. We're checking in on, uh, let's check in on some other stuff going on as we do close. Oh, we do, this will be halfway here with a number three of Geek Girl Games leading the way. So your leader at halfway will be that number three of Geek Girl Games. So she is gonna get those five extra bonus points for leading at half. So currently led 16 laps here today. And if my math is sort of correct, she probably is going to be coming into the pits in the next couple laps here because she stopped on lap 19 and we're currently at lap 38. So if not this lap, we're going to, well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what her fuel mileage is like in the, in the, on the second run. As we do see her and the 660, as they get a little bit of bump right there from the 660 of Garrett Miller. So we see them come in. The 95 of Zed Brun is gonna stay out. He is going to lead a lap here today. Again, all important five bonus points for that 95 of Zed Brun. Zed currently runs ninth in the points. So Zed has had a pretty good car that so far. This I'm gonna knock on wood for Zed. That's what I'm gonna do. And uh, just, you know, not talk about any more about how he does. <laughs> But we see that 95, he is going now two extra laps here over, over the number three of Geek Girl Games. So he's got 34 laps to go. I'm guessing we're gonna, I don't think they can make it to the end with 30 laps, but we're keeping an eye on this 95 of Zed Brenna. See if he comes in this time. Looks like he is slowing down, so he is going to come into the pits. Here comes the 25 of JTM. Looks like he's going to peel off. The 51, the 71, the 23, the 329, the 666. 203 of signs is staying out for another lap. So that 203 of signs for Douche Motorsports staying out one more lap here. So he's going to have three laps more. Then all the front runners here today. So we're going to see if Signs uh, pulls off the track this time, or maybe he goes another lap. So watching him drive through three and four. Sounds like he's off the gas and he is pulling into the pits. So I think your leader after this, well, I think she probably, I don't think she's a lap down right now, but your leader after all this is going to be the three of Geek Girl Games. Unless there is somebody in front of her. Well, there's the 300 of Resemble. And I'm wondering if Resemble, who came into the pits in 15th position, 
has dropped to the tail of the field. As we watch the three of Geek Girl Games coming down, she is going to cross the stripe. I think she is going to be our leader as Signs, I think, was still in the pits. Yeah, there he is. So, again, three laps additional fuel for that 203 of Signs. And that would put him at 62. So I think everybody's going to have to stop here today for a final pit stop. So one more pit stop, I believe, for everybody here in the race today. And we will, I mean, G3 is definitely going to be your leader. As of right now, the second place will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Third is going to be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. She currently runs top 10 in points here today, or in the series, currently running uh, sixth in points. So... Excuse me, another top 10 run as of right now. Fourth is going to be the 20 of Adam B5000, who actually started 23rd today. So Adam has worked himself up to the fourth. Fifth is going to be the 72 of Duchess. Sixth will be the 49 of Jetman. Seventh will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Eighth will be the 95. Ninth will be the 34. And rounding out your top 10 is going to be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. 25 of JTM running there in 11th. Jumping back through this field. See if we can find your points leader. There's the 88 of NM, your points leader. He's currently running in the 21st position, and I was correct in saying that the 300 of Resemble has now fallen all the way back to last place here today. So not sure what happened on his pit stops, but rough day today in the pits for the 300 of Resemble and the Drop Bear Racing Team. He has had an amazing car all day. But for whatever reason, in his pit stops, they just have not performed like they, they should. So Resemble has fallen all the way back to the back of the pack after leading 18 laps here today and starting on the pole. A good thing will be that he does get those 10 bonus points because he currently runs in a top 10 in points. So those 10 bonus points, if he does happen to finish last, will at least help him a little bit to not get last place points overall. Again, your leader still that three of Geek Girl Games. Staying right there in striking distance is that 660 of Garrett Miller. So we are going to see if Garrett can catch up to that three of Geek Girl Games and catching up and then passing G3 as she has led 23 laps here today at Darlington for this Darlington 74. Jump back through this field as we see... Everybody just cruising right now in this, I guess, well, I guess it's, uh, you know, like more than thirds here today as we'll have three pit stops and then some, some extra laps after that. Uh, last couple races has been like three pit stops and maybe two and a half or two pit stops and then we <laughs> cross your fingers as we see the 51 of AJM getting around that three, five, six of ice cream some days. He's worked himself into... The 13, 14th position now, as we see the double zero of Mudbone getting down to the inside of the 11 of TC Roberts. TC running fourth in the points right, as of right now today, and he definitely needs to get his car just wound up a little bit more as we see multiple cars getting around him. And his teammate, the 23, of older than you there. So double zero of Mudbone battling right now on the track with the... 51 of AJM, this currently for the 14th position. Actually, this might be for the 12th position. Jump up through the front of this field, see what we see as... Look at that, we see the 420, a queen of hearts uh, for the Aces to Z Motorsports and the 420 Red Bull Toyota has caught up to the back of the 660 and the three of Geek Girl Games. The 660 has now closed that gap as well to the back of the three of Geek Girl Games, your leader. Here on lap number 52 with about 22 laps to go at Darlington. And I don't know, if you were the, the crew chief here, would you think about, hey, with 15 laps to go, do you pit? 
I mean, we're getting close anyway. So I think they're going to be stopping about lap. Let's see. Mm, G3 might be start stopping on lap 54. Maybe lap 55. I don't know. We'll see. As the 420 of Queen of Hearts around that 660 of Garrett Miller. Trying to do some quick math in my head. So she went about 19 laps on the first one. So about lap 57. Maybe when she's stopping anyway. Uh, 57 to 60, I would guess, would be her fuel window for that three of Geek Girl Games. As well as the 420 of Queen of Hearts and probably that 660 of Garrett Miller all... Probably lap 57 because they're 19 laps, so they need at least one more lap to make it to the end of this race. As G3 has just absolutely solidified the number of laps led here today, as she's currently led 30 laps, I do believe. Lots of changing in the back of the pack as we do see. Whoa, wow, well, we can't jump away from this now as a 420 at Queen of Hearts. Down to the inside of your leader, the three of Geek Girl Games. As the 420 able to push that car, that Toyota for Ace of Zed Motorsports around the three of Geek Girl Games. She's going to lead a lap, and the three is going to do the crossover move down the front stretch, down underneath. The 660 is also going to follow along with her. It's going to put the 420 from first to third right there, as the three of Geek Girl Games will take back over the lead. So Queen of Hearts will lead a lap. She's going to get her five bonus points. And the three of Geek Girl Games will take back over here on lap number 56. As I'm fairly certain we're probably going to see the pit stops in just either this lap or the next lap by the front runners as 420 back around that 660 of Garrett Miller. Putting him back to the third position as the three of Geek Girl Games working down the back stretch here. A little bit of a fall off right there by that 420 at Queen of Hearts. So G3 not pulling in, neither the 420 or the 660. Down the front stretch into one and two. Still waiting to see what they think. If their pit crew is going to signal them in for, one, for their last stop with 17 to go, or if they're going to hold... I mean, there's no reason not to pit now. You can make it to the end from here. So the only thing is, is that some of those cars might have better tires. Are they going to go two tires? Are they going to go four tires? As the three is staying out for another lap. So G3 pushing this fuel run out as... Yeah, I think she's going to be pretty early. So 19 and then uh, 38... So I think, uh, yeah, because we went about, we went a little bit extra here. So maybe sandbagging as we do see the 420 at Queen of Hearts comes in. The three of Geek Girl Games stays out. The 660 stays out. So maybe, I mean, here's the thought here is the less fuel you put in, the faster your car could be. Um, that's, that's what I'm thinking here. So, you know, hey, I'm not the crew chief. So they've done all that crew chief math and said, hey, we, we actually have enough gas to make it, you know, 25 laps. Let's just come in a little bit early. As we do see the three of Geek Girl Games peel off the track, she's coming down into the pits for the final time as we see that 49 of Jetman take back over the lead and the 95 of Zed Brunna. So the three of Geek Girl Games come, oh, as we see the 356 of Ice Cream some days retires. Looks like she might have a blown engine here today. So the three of Geek Girl Games coming down for her final stop today here in the More Freedom Series is day Darlington 74 as she pulls into her pits. See what they do. Right side tires going on for the three of Geek Girl Games. Looks like it's going to be a four tire stop. Tires are on the wall for the left side. Those tires are going on. 799 of Mike Check pulling in behind her. And Ada Moon Bunny pulling in in front of her. Fuel going in. Get as much fuel as they can into that three of Geek Girl Games. And she is down and away. See, there's that 34 of Super Snake. As it looks like the 660 of Garrett Miller 
may have beat her out of the, on the track. As the 29 of J or the 25 of JTM taking over the lead, as the 420 of Queen of Hearts may be your may be the big winner here. Uh, I'm not sure if Queen took two tires on last. She's showing a lap down as of right now. So we're going to watch where everything shakes out and what knocks here today. So the 25 is in. There's that 999 of Deviant. We see the right side, left side tires finally going on that 25. Right side's on that 203. The 25 is down and away. He was your leader. KFB took over the lead there. I'm guessing that the 420 at Queen of Hearts is probably going to be your leader here today, and she's going to have a significant lead over several of these drivers as maybe she only took two tires here today. So with 11 laps to go, and I am seeing in the timing and scoring that Ice Cream's engine ignition did go out here today, so Ice Cream will be shown out of this race with an engine ignition. Uh, unfortunate break for that 356 of Ice Cream some days. Also showing the 88 of NM as a lap down, so maybe issues in the pits for that 88 of NM as he is currently running 32nd. That's not going to help his point situation at all. That'll actually probably knock him out of the top spot. He was only 24 points ahead of the 49 of Jetman. So, but let's go and check in on your leader. That's going to be the 420 at Queen of Hearts with about nine laps to go. So your leader as of right now with under 10 is going to be that 420 at Queen of Hearts. Second place is going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be that 660 of Garrett Miller. Fourth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Fifth will be the 49 of Jetman. Sixth will be the 72 of Duchess. Eighth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Ninth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 34 of Super Snake. Check and see you checking in on that 88 of NM and we do see left side damage yeah, you can see left side damage on that 88 of NM so not sure if maybe he got into it with the 356 of ice cream some days if they got together what happened because uh, we you know we saw her with the with engine ignition damage so don't know if that is related or not but we do definitely see issues with that 88 of NM Checking back through this field. Last week's winner, the 8 of Moon Bunny, right there behind her car owner. The 07 of Douche Baggins currently for the 25th position. But your leader, that 420 at Queen of Hearts, commanding lead right now with six laps to go over that 20 of Adam B5000 and the 660 of Garrett Miller. These two cars currently running about 1.8 seconds back on the 420 at Queen of Hearts. So again, I'm not sure if Queen took four tires, if she took two tires or what, but she definitely had an amazing pit stop here today. Actually ended up coming out of the pits about four seconds ahead of a G3 and you know a couple seconds ahead of the 660 of Garrett Miller. So. Garrett and Adam currently working together right now to try to catch up to that 420 at Queen of Hearts, but I'm pretty sure she's got she it's it's almost gonna take a miracle today for them to catch up as they currently are still running 1.8 seconds back on the 420. She has got clean air, she is just able to just run her line around this track and with four laps to go here today, I this is basically this is her race as of right now so you might be looking at the leader you might be looking at the winner here today for the Darlington 74 
But we'll check back here and see where G3 is. She currently runs, but right behind the 49 of Jetman. So this is not just a battle on the track for position. This is also a battle on the track for the possible points lead um, as Jetman, again, 24 points behind the 88 of NM and G3 30 points behind. So G3 is going to get those 10 bonus points. And I believe that Jetman will have about three points. So it's going to be a seven point, probably a seven point swing in G3's favor for this. As we got about two laps to go here. So 1.7 seconds, they've made up a couple tenths, but I don't think what they're they're gonna have what it takes for this 420 at Queen of Hearts. Ace of Zed Motorsports was able to put a good car underneath her and get her in and out of the pits, and I think that might be the deciding factor here today. That last pit stop, absolutely a banger for the 420 at Queen of Hearts. They they must have been drinking that Red Bull in the pits to be able to give themselves wings to get her in and out as fast as they did. Again, we're on the last lap here today. I do believe this is going to be the last lap for that 420 at Queen of Hearts. She pulls them down the back stretch into three and four for the final time. The 420 at Queen of Hearts coming down here at Darlington. She's going to bring it down. She's going to cross the stripe. Your winner today here at Darlington for the Darlington 74 is going to be the 420 at Queen of Hearts. Again, she was up at the front the majority of the day today after starting in the sixth position and just able to great pit stops, great pit strategy. Uh, I'm not saying they were drinking Red Bull in the pits, but I mean, it would make sense as they just were able to just fly around that car and get her out. So let's go through your finishing order here today. Your winner again is that 420 at Queen of Hearts. Second place will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Fourth will be the 49 of Jetman. Fifth will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Sixth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Seventh will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Eighth will be the 72 of Duchess. Ninth will be the 34 of Super Snake. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. So great race here today for the 420. Next week, we go to New Hampshire for the New Hampshire 60. So kind of a shortish track there. Not too short, but shorter. Uh, it would be a great race either way. So we head next week to New Hampshire for the New Hampshire 60. Let's also take a look at your current points. So I think there could be a shakeup. I could see... I, I think the top position is going to be somebody different. It's got, going to be the 88 of NM. So you're seeing those points on the screen right now. Let's also take a look at your team and chassis standings and see what that looks like as could be NBR at the top, could be Dodge still at the top, but you're seeing those on the screen as well. Again, an awesome, awesome run today. Awesome pit stops for that 420 at Queen of Hearts. Her her pit crew just absolutely killed it on that last pit stop, able to get her out in front of everybody by two seconds, and she was able to hold that lead off. Ended up winning by 1.8 over the 20 of Adam B5000, but your winner today is the 420 of Queen of Hearts. So congratulations to her, and congratulations to Aces, Zed, Aces to Zed Motorsports. That is their first win of the season, Toyota's first win of the season. And until next week at New Hampshire, take care.